What is up, you guys? Welcome to the video. I got something special. I got a little pro tip for you. If you're doing any kind of painting for your house, for your gym, whatever, what you do, oh my god, is you saran wrap your paint in your rollers and you put it in your fridge. This is the new paint at the gym. It's a little maroon, so check it out in a second, but I have the rollers in here. And basically, the coolness of the refrigerator keeps the rollers from drying out so you don't have to rinse them, paint thinner, all that whole step, or even buy new rollers. So put it in the fridge, keeps it cool, uh, saves money. So we're going to the gym. I'm gonna show you the progress of the paint. We are like 99.9% .9 done. We just have to finish that one color on that wall, a second coat. We got new lights. It's looking awesome in there. Uh, and then once we finish that, we can start rolling rubber. So let's get this video started, going to the gym. Look how nice it looks. It's so bright. It's so bright. <laughs> oh my God, it's so different. Wow. Guys, would you look at it? Would you look at it? Look at this wall. Look at this wall. We went the maroon. You know, it's not done all the way, but man, you know, I thought the maroon was gonna be too dark, but it, it lives it up. Good. Look at these lights. I thought the lights were gonna be, you know, just a little bit brighter, but it's pretty drastic how different it is. Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say, buddy? Good, good. Looks like you got everything handled here. I'll see you later. Want a match? God. Were the avocados at Trader Joe's? 99 cents. Wow. And a dollar per pound. How much did you get chicken. them? Four, I told you that. Oh, four. Okay, I need to get a couple more. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Good, 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 good. We need four. to do, we, well, I'm going to be there in two weeks, so. Chocolate? All right, we're back from the gym. The gym looks amazing. I'm going to put a picture right here. It looks so good with that maroon. The lights that my brother put in, changed the atmosphere so much like it was kind of dim and that gray kind of felt a little bit dark but now with the brighter lights it looks awesome the navy against the maroon the wood wall it all is coming together i literally have like maybe one half day left i just have to do a little bit of trim here and there uh maybe a second coat on that red because um it's it just needs a little bit more uh coating you can kind of see like the stroke marks so um yeah more information updates on the gym as the week goes on but we're almost there we're almost ready to roll out floor but i know i put this in like the last video or the video before that um grocery haul but i kind of did it really quick this one uh because i think yeah we went on a tuesday i think the last grocery haul so this is sunday this is what i got so jenny boo got these avocados from trader joe's 99 cents per these ones uh, from Big Y were $1.25 each, so Trader Joe's wins that one. Uh, we got some feta for Jenny Boo. We got some sliced almonds. I got, instead of um, salt and vinegar almonds, because they were $10, these were $2 pumpkin seeds. A lot of fat, 17 grams of fat per serving on that. So we got spinach, uh, bok choy, asparagus, string beans, a little medley of uh, peppers and onion. We got some garlic. Uh, Jennifer got some grape tomatoes. I got some uh, Napa cabbage again. So a lot of vegetables because you want that gut health, right? Um, I also got some turmeric. I'll talk about that when I put that in my coffee. Uh, coconut milk, coconut cream. No sugar in that. Uh, I'll talk about that too. Virgin coconut oil. So you can get two different types of coconut oil. Refined uh, or virgin. Uh, if it's refined, that means it doesn't taste... Ugh. If it's refined, uh, that means it's processed. They take out that coconut flavor. If it's unrefined and extra virgin, then it tastes like coconut. I like the coconut flavor, so I got um, virgin. Oh, wait, this doesn't taste like coconut. Oh, crap. Dang. Anyways, uh, coconut oil. Um, Jennifer has egg whites. Uh, she got silk almond milk. She got un 
sweetened organic ketchup, whatever that means, but I'm not. Um, I have a giant, uh, a giant leg of lamb because Chris was gonna do keto, so he got a leg of lamb last week and he didn't use it, so I have that. I have to pick that up at his house. Giant leg of lamb. That's gonna be my main protein source, but also we got some, got some chicken to put in the crock pot. We got beef hearts. Look at this, beef hearts. Only two dollars. Super cheap source of protein. Uh, good amount of iron. Uh, that's pretty much it. Also got 18 egg whites. So let's tell you about the pistachios. So I uh, got my uh, coconut, coconut, my pumpkin seeds, and then I got 10 little snacks of pistachios uh, already peeled, so no shell. Each of these packets have 10 grams of fat. So nice, simple, and easy. It was actually cheaper than buying the full bag. So that's my grocery haul for the week. Uh, different sources of protein, different sources of fat. I'll talk about that on the full day of eating. And as I dive further into this ketosis journey, uh, I'm going to do more research and catch up because I haven't done it consistently in five years. So more researchers out there. Uh, I'm gonna give you some more science-based stuff. But we did do a carb night. I'm gonna talk about this in a second. Uh, we did do a carb night. I want to give you my thoughts on it and my plan moving forward for the next 6 to 12 weeks. We're going to Jenny Boo's house. Her home. Well, her home home. Her parents' house. Father-in-law's birthday. Her dad's birthday. How old is he? Actually, it's Norm's birthday today. How old is he? No, it's Norm's birthday today. He would have been 91. But dad's birthday was on Wednesday and he's 56. Oh, getting up there. Really getting up there. But... Uh, let me talk about the carb night because Andrew, he's I put him on carb night, right? This is why I'm doing the keto. So for the first week, I, in, I did the carb night with him. Now, the goal for anybody new, carb night, is basically every seven days, eight days, 10 days, you're on keto, right? You refill your glycogen stores uh, with having a carb night, basically eating uh, like 600 to uh, 500 grams of carbs like you want to go heavy carbs lighter on the protein lighter on the fat and enjoy some carbohydrates refill your glycogen stores it boosts your insulin uh, releases hormones etc etc if you want to read the book read the book but now I've done that for since I was 275 all the way down to 200 that's how I lost all my weight gonna do a full story time on that because I haven't done that in a while but I did it last and night I reminded you how fat you were did I uh, check my my Instagram on that one um so yeah what was I gonna say you lost you, you, you blew my you're, mind you were gonna do a story uh do a story time uh anyways did the carb night last night feel like absolute garbage today like my workout wasn't good I was definitely could get like a better pump because I have more glycogen in my muscles but actually I'm gonna talk about this further but they did a study it's all backed by research that if you're on keto they took two test subjects keto and high carb diet and they did a bunch of long-term exercise and they found that pre and during and after that people that were on keto had the same amount of glycogen in their muscle as the people that were on the high carb diet so more on that later but I felt awful I didn't feel good so um, I think carbonite is a good way to get people into keto without going full keto and like restricting themselves a lot but I'm going to eliminate the refeeds so no more refeeds starting today what is the date today 24th the 24th the Sunday the 24th no more refeeds I'm going to try to go at least six weeks without any refeeds if for some reason like I'm dying and like my health is like in jeopardy or like I feel like I'm gonna murder somebody then I will have a refeed but I honestly didn't feel like I wanted or needed that carb night at all. So um, didn't go crazy, I had about 500 grams of carbs, but I just don't feel good today. So back on ketosis, uh, and that's that. So more information on the full story. Comment down below if you want if you want that story time for Wednesday's, Wednesday's, Wednesday's video of how I went from 275 down to 200 using carb night and ketosis. So going to get the lamb from Chris's and then we're going to get a little bit of birthday dinner. Wow, it's loud in here. Whoa. It's so loud. What are you eating? Want some? 
Oh, no, we can eat this. I can't have that. Casein peanut butter. Try yeah. it. I don't want it. That's all that's in there. I don't want it. My frozen lamb. No, put it on the ground. Because that spills on my... It's like a rock concert in there. I think it's blasting music and meal prepping. Really? Yeah, I just looked at I just saw it. I don't know about you guys, but this is the new look. New year, new me. Look at this thing. This is like Jerry Curl to the freaking tent. You know what I'm saying? Let's get in there. Doggy? Oh, he's outside. Uncle, say hi to you. Say hi, Uncle. I don't have my mustache this time. I don't have my mustache. Throw kissy. Kissy. That's nice. What are you going to say? Oh. Oh. Say. Oh, yeah? Say. Hello. Say hi. Wave. Say wave. Say hi. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. Good morning, you guys. It's currently 7.30. I'm going to retest 19.1. I don't want to. I don't want to retest. We haven't even tested it twice yet. Usually we do these workouts three times, but with this year being so different and there's no regionals, there's no real drive or purpose to push ourselves with doing retests three times because we're not going to regionals. There's no next step. So it's kind of just for fun this year and that's totally fine. We got a really good first score. I got eight plus two, Chris got eight plus 13. Um, I will say before I retest it that I think it was really good that me and Chris went head to head because we both wanted to drop those wall balls really bad. We wanted to chop that up, but because both of us didn't like out of our perif, we're like, oh, drop it, drop it, drop it. And we didn't drop it. So we kind of kept each other accountable uh, and pushed each other to not go broken sets. I'm doing it by myself. Nobody's here, nobody, nobody to push me. So it's just me and my thoughts. So we will see if I do better. I don't know if I don't do better. I honestly don't care, uh, but I'm just gonna give it a shot. So uh, this next portion might be 15 minutes long. I might show you guys the entire clip. Um, if I can find music to go along with it for 15 minutes, it might have to be repetitive, but, uh, or I might do a voiceover. So if you don't wanna see this full video of me doing this workout, this is pretty much the end. Uh, I'm gonna do the workout, recap, uh, talk about the open a little bit, and that'll be the end of the video. So if you wanna tune in on Wednesday, Wednesday's gonna be story time of how I went from 275 all the way down to currently using uh, keto, intermittent fasting, uh, carb backloading, a, a, a bunch of diets. So if you're interested in diet story time, come back Wednesday, thumbs up this video, comment down below. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. For those that are sticking around, wish me luck, let's do this. I think I'm, I think I'm in frame. Okay, better, 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 better. Eight plus 19. Old score, eight plus two. I didn't push myself that hard. Uh, <coughs> transitions were faster. Getting off the rower onto the wall ball, wall ball the rower faster. I only rode 1100 to 1250 the whole time. 
strokes were like 27, not that crazy. And uh, I felt controlled until that last uh, set of wall balls. I kind of went faster. I should have did those wall balls that fast every time. Really using the rebound of my legs uh, to do the wall balls. That would have saved me a lot of time. And it was easier. The slower paced out wall balls kind of put more tension on your body. Um, I definitely think I could get nine rounds if Chris was here or people were cheering. I would have pushed the pace a little bit, but being really conservative. Not nearly as blown up from the first attempt. First attempt, a lot of anticipation, anxiety, pressure, so not bad. Pretty happy with that score. Two times, I'm done. Eight plus, 19. Great work for everyone that did it. On to 19.2. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for my story. Maybe then